Cesare Bexeschi was a Polish painter, photographer and sculptor, specializing in the field of utopian art. Bexeschi did his paintings and drawings in what he called either a Baroque or a Gothic manner. His creations were made mainly in two periods. The first period of work is generally considered to contain expressionistic color, with a strong style of utopian realism, and surreal architecture, like a doomsday scenario. The second period contained more abstract style, with the main features of formalism. Bexeschi was murdered in 2005. Early Life Cesare Bexeschi was born in Sanok, southern Poland. He studied architecture in Krakow, W. In 1955, he completed his studies and returned to Sanok, working as a construction site supervisor, but he hated that kind of work. During this period, he also had an interest in montage photography, sculpting and painting. His site materials plaster, metal and wire engaged in carving creation. His photographic works, then the light in particular to emphasize wrinkles, desolate landscape and still life face a rough surface, these themes also appear in his later paintings. He now has been the creation of an atmosphere with a plaintive and anxiety, such as torn doll faces, faces are erased or obscured by bandages wrapped around the portrait. He focused on painting, creating abstract engaged him early, although he works in the 1960s, it seems obviously been inspired by surrealism. Painting and Drawing Technique, Bexeschi had no formal training as an artist. His paintings were mainly created using oil paint on hardboard panels which he personally prepared, although he also experimented with acrylic paints. He abhorred silence, and always listened to classical music while painting. Although he loved classical music, Bexinski appreciated rock music as well. Fantastic Realism A prestigious exhibition in Warsaw in 1964 proved to be his first major success, as all his paintings were sold. Bexinski threw himself into painting with a passion, and worked constantly. He soon became the leading figure in contemporary Polish art. In the late 1960s, Bexeschi entered what he himself called his fantastic period, which lasted up to the mid-1980s. This is his best-known period, during which he created very disturbing images, showing a surrealistic, post-apocalyptic environment with very detailed scenes of death, decay, landscapes filled with skeletons, deformed figures and deserts. These paintings were quite detailed, painted with his trademark precision. At the time, Bexeschi claimed, I wish to paint in such a manner as if I were photographing dreams. Despite the grim overtones, Bexeschi claimed some of his works were misunderstood. In his opinion, they were rather optimistic or even humorous. For the most part, though, Bexeschi was adamant that even he did not know the meaning of his artworks and was uninterested in possible interpretations. In keeping with this, he refused to provide titles for any of his drawings or paintings. Before moving to Warsaw in 1977, he burned a selection of his works in his own backyard, without leaving any documentation on them. He later claimed that some of those works were too personal, while others were unsatisfactory, and he didn't want people to see them. Later work, the 1980s marked a transitory period for Bexeschi. During this time, his works became more popular in France due to the endeavors of Piat Mokoski, and he achieved significant popularity in Western Europe, the United States and Japan. His art in the late 1980s and early 1990s focused on monumental or sculpture-like images rendered in a restricted color palette, including a series of crosses. Paintings in these style, which often appear to have been sketched densely in colored lines, were much less lavish than those known from his fantastic period, but just as powerful. In 1994, Bexeschi explained I'm going in the direction of a greater simplification of the background, and at the same time a considerable degree of deformation in the figures, which are being painted without what's known as naturalistic light and shadow. What I'm after is for it to be obvious at first sight that this is a painting I made. In the latter part of the 1990s, he discovered computers, the Internet, digital photography and photo manipulation, a medium that he focused on until his death. Family tragedies and death, the late 1990s were a very trying time for Bexeschi. 
His wife, Zofia, died in 1998. A year later, on Christmas Eve 1999, his son Thomas committed suicide. Bex's ski discovered his son's body. Unable to come to terms with his son's death, he kept an envelope for Tomk in case I kick the bucket pin to his wall. On February 21, 2005, Bex's ski was found dead in his flat in Warsaw with 17 stab wounds on his body. Two of the wounds were determined to have been fatal. Robert Kipik, who later pleaded guilty, and a friend were arrested shortly after the crime. On November 9, 2006 Robert Kipik was sentenced to 25 years in prison, and his accomplice, Angstra Merkaz Kipik, to five years by the court of Warsaw. Before his death, Bexis Ski refused to loan Robert Kipik a few hundred zarity. Personality Although Bexis Ski's art was often grim, he himself was known to be a pleasant person who took enjoyment from conversation and had a keen sense of humor. He was modest and somewhat shy, avoiding public events such as the openings of his own exhibitions. He credited music as his main source of inspiration. He claimed not to be much influenced by literature, cinema or the work of other artists, and almost never visited museums or exhibitions. Bexaski avoided concrete analyses of the content of his work, saying I cannot conceive of a sensible statement on painting. He was especially dismissive of those who sought or offered simple answers to what his work meant. Artistic Legacy The town of Sanok, Poland, houses a museum dedicated to Bexaski. A Bexaski museum housing 50 paintings and 120 drawings from the Dmokoski collection, opened in 2006 in the City Art Gallery of Gza and registered trademarks to Chawa, Poland. On May 18, 2012 with the participation of Minister of Regional Development Ila one quarter by Tabi Kowska and others took place ceremonial opening of the new gallery of Zsai Bexaski in the rebuilt wing of the castle. On May 19, 2012 the new gallery has been opened for the public. A Bexaski cross, in the characteristic T-shape frequently employed by the artist, was installed for Burning Man. Sources, Cowan, J. 2006, the Fantastic Art of Beksinski, Zsislaw Beksinski, 1929-2005, 3rd Eden, Gallery Morpheus International, Las Vegas. ISBN 1-883398-38X. Dmokoski, A. And pages 1991, Beksinski, Photographies, Dessins, Sculptures, Pinchers, 2nd Eden. API Publishing. Dmokoski, A. And pages 1991, Bexaski, Pinches A. Dessens 1987-1991, First Eden, API Publishing. Gaz to Wybicher, An Interview with Tsisai Bexaski, Kula Koska Lees, J. 2005, Bexaski 1, Third Eden. With introduction by Thomas Grigal Wyich. Boss Art, Poland. ISBN 83-87730-11-4. Kula Koska Lees, J. 2005, Bexaski 2, 2nd Eden. With introduction by Islaw Benak. Boss Art, Poland. ISBN 83-87730-42-4. External links, official site presented by Belvedere Gallery. Zsisai Bexaski Virtual Museum, Zsisai Bexaski Gallery, an artist does not live anymore. In memoriam for Zsisai Bexaski by a film director Pietr Andradu, KINO, No. 6-2005, Dark Art, Bexaski Gallery, video about photography of Zsisai Bexaski, Zsisai Bexaski Selected Works, Image Gallery, Zsisai Bexaski at Culture PL.